Hello and welcome to BIMAN Revit Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I would like to show you an example of using phases in Revit. Dear friends, this is the model of existing phase of the building and in its place we create a design for a new small uh, house. And that's it. Now I would like to show you Okay, now I would like to show you PDF export of this conceptual design where we used phases. This is the, those are the legends. This is the site plan 1000 scale. And this is site plan of the final design uh, 1200 uh, scale. This is our house, and here we have to uh, we have section and elevation of the house. Uh, here we also have the line for the existing topography. All right. Now this is the ground floor, and this is one small existing house with a single floor plan and isometric view. Here we have legends for existing demolition, uh, red is new, and we have cases where the uh, demolition and new overlap. Uh, I choose the orange color uh, because, the, because of the uh, yellow and red combination give us the uh, orange color, all right? Those are the uh, sections. We have section for the existing phase. All right, one and section two. Those are elevations for the existing phase. All right, those are elevations too. And we have isometries for the existing phase. We have isometries for the different uh, views, viewpoints. All right, and now those are uh, demolition phases. Here you can see legend for where we have uh, yellow color for demolition, uh, isometric view and floor plan view shows are uh, the part of the buildings that will be demolished. All right, in the sections we also have uh, shown the parts that will be demolished. Um, some clients uh, ask us to create drawings separately for the existing part, uh, demolition part, and new part. Someone's ask us to create uh, in one drawing uh, overlapped demolition and new and existing. In this case, all drawings are separate. Uh, and uh, we, we will, later you will see the overlapped drawings where we have uh, all phases shown in these drawings. All right, those are elevations. And here we also have the uh, yellow, in yellow color shown the parts of the building that will be demolished. All right, now here we have overlapped drawings. All right, here we have the new and demolished. In the isometric view, we also have new and demolished. The legend shows us what is what. All right, here in the sections, we have all right, uh, also the uh, new demolition and existing parts that will be uh, uh, in, the, in this drawing here. All right, in the elevations, also we have all of uh, overlapped the demolition and new. From these uh, elevation views, we also can see which part will be demolished. And we can compare the new and demolition parts. Uh, now, uh, those are the final drawings that we will get. Uh, and this is the new phase final drawings where you can see on the ground floor plan uh, we have legends for the rooms and uh, also we have areas here 
and one is a metric used to make the uh, make this uh, drawing clearly to understand. All right, here we have the uh, the gallery here. And also we have uh, the isometric view that makes this drawing easier to understand. All right, here we have uh, the section of the new phase with isometric view also. We have one section more. All right, those are the uh, elevation views. All right, those are two, the elevation views. And here we have isometries for the, or axonometries for the final uh, uh, stage of the project. Okay. And dear friend, this was the conceptual design where we use the phases. Just more, one more time to pass from beginning to the end. Uh, we have legends. Uh, site plan 1000, site plan 1, 200, uh, existing phases, uh, floor plans, elevation sections, axonometries, demolition phase, uh, overlap demolition existing new with sections, elevations, and floor plans, and final drawings, uh, floor plans, isometries, axonometries elevation view sections and final view of the house shown in the axonometric views. This is all dear friends for this, this tutorial. I hope this, this will be helpful for you and please don't forget to subscribe and to share my works with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next tutorial.